Okay, I'm invoking all my rights, and they're, they're going to drag me out of my car. Are you going to break my window? You're not cooperating. We, we're going to have to get you out of your vehicle. I'm not doing anything wrong. Look, these are three cops that have already... What's up guys, today's traveler is fighting for the freedoms to drive without license plates and driver's licenses. He won't stand for such tyranny. Telling deputy stopping a vehicle that they suspect is going to cause issues. 113 Clearwater, if you look at his name card, he'll, the plates for that vehicle are in it, he's taking them off. Hi there. Do you need I'm, some help, sir? I'm, the reason I'm stopping is you don't have any license plates. Do you need some help? I'm not involved in any uh, interstate commerce. Do you need some help or, uh, or not? Driver's license and proof of insurance, please. Do you need some help or not? Driver's license and proof of insurance, please. I can't hear you. You're going to need to roll your window down. I, I want to be on my way. I'm invoking all my rights. I'm including in, my the, right to in the state of Minnesota, you are required to display license plates on your vehicle. So Driver's license and proof of insurance, please. Commerce, Driver's license and proof of insurance, please. I invoke all my rights. Sir. Including my right to time. Okay. I, I need your driver's license. It is a state statute for you to display your driver's license. Statute? They don't follow statute and codes duly made by legislative bodies elected by the people according to the Constitution. That's a statute. Yes. I'm a United States of America citizen. Yes, but I need your driver's license. I wish to be on my way. No, you are not free get to your leave. Superior, get him here now. You are not free to leave. Get your superior here now. 113 Clearwater, he is requesting uh, 02. Thank you, sir. Can I get your driver's license, please? No. Don't, I, 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 look, look, listen, listen, I, I invoke my right to private property, Step and you're out. invading my property, I, I'm, I'm invoking out. my rights, you just, you just, you just invaded my private property. Step sir. out. What for? You are under arrest. What for? Really? Yes. For what? For one, Mr. Shepard, your driving status is canceled IPS in the state of Minnesota. Step out. Would you please wait for your superior? No. I'm not. I'm not doing anything I, wrong. I know I'm how not to. Gonna be, I'm not going to be violent. I'm not going to do anything. I'm. I'm. Sir, stay right I am, here. I'm going to wait for your superior. Okay. I'm giving. Because the superior is going to show up and say, "Oh, let him go." Always happens. You know, lawful order to step out. I know how to do my job. Your driving status is canceled. IPS. I'm not driving. You were. I'm not. And I wasn't. You, yes, you were. No, I was not. We, I was traveling. We can, we can sit here and play these games. I mean, map versus Ohio. I have a whole binder here. This binder is fancier than my entire car, so you know I'm right. Step out of the vehicle. This is not a vehicle. It I want to is. make that clear. It's not a vehicle. It is a vehicle. Yes, my body camera is recording. I was looking at your name. Deputy Weems. What's your badge number? 7113. What's your reason for stopping me? You don't have license plates on your vehicle. I've already explained this I'm not to you. A I'm not in a vehicle. Yes, you are. What designates All a right, vehicle? We're, we're not going to keep playing these games. I'm not playing if any game. I, I have asked you to step out. Are you? What are you arresting me for? I've already told you. What are you arresting me for? Your driving status. What is that? Cancelled IPS. And you're going to arrest me for what? It's a... See, there's another one. This guy can't keep a driver's license, so he's trying to find a way around it. I bet if I scour the internet enough, they'll find me some obscure laws that have been overruled time and time again over the last century that can give me the right to drive without a license. They'll leave me alone now. Gross misdemeanor in the state of Minnesota to have canceled IPS driving status. What's IPS? Inimicable in, in to public safety. That's not a, that's, that's not a law. Amicable to driving or to public safety is not a, um, a reason for cancellation of a license and a license is I am telling you what your driving status is. I'm not driving. You were. I was not. All right. I was traveling. I, I have backup on the way. If you don't want to step out and do this peacefully, we will drag you out of the vehicle. Why? I haven't hurt nobody. Negative. I cannot. 
I'm waiting for your I'm waiting for your superior. Calmly. I'm not I'm not We're we're not gonna keep playing games. I'm not playing any game. You Pretty sure you're playing a game. You are. I am not playing a game. I am not. This is my life. This is my liberty. This is my freedom. I have a, I have a right to travel. You are under arrest. For what? Your driving setup. I've already explained you're gonna this to you. You're going to arrest somebody? Uh, you're going to arrest a private individual for a driving status when they're yes. not driving? Yes. You were driving. I was not driving. I have it on my dash camera. It's so. not driving. I'm traveling from point A to point B. I have you to can, be able to sustain life. You, you can call it what? Sustain life? Are you pregnant? Nursing, maybe? How exactly are you sustaining life? What you want, but without a valid Minnesota driver's license, you cannot operate motor vehicle or it's whatever you want to call it on Minnesota highways. What's today? 322 of 2020. It's arrest day. 23. Are you going to take me to a magistrate right now? No, I'm taking you to jail. In, in front of a magistrate, right? I, I demand all my rights. I demand to be put in front of a magistrate right now. That you it's not going to happen. You, you will see the judge tomorrow I morning at 11. I have a constitutional right. I have constitutional rights that I am invoking, sir. Yeah, and SP 91, where, what's your 20? Eric, I've asked you multiple times to step out of the vehicle. Would you please wait for your superior? I, I've had them call him, but okay, I have a job waiting to for do. Your superior. We're, we've agreed. Nobody, look, I'm trying to de-escalate the situation. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to make a phone call here. Listen, I'm being arrested. I'm, getting, I'm about to be arrested, okay? I need yeah, you to you call, to I need you to call 911 and say that I'm about to be... Um, Dude, you got a phone in your hand. Call him yourself. I'm not calling 911 for you to make myself look like a jackass. Uh, yeah, this guy I know, he's being arrested for being a dumbass, and um, I need the police to come arrest those that are arresting him. It's not going to work. Taken against my will by Officer B. Weems of, yeah, B. Weems of Clearwater County Sheriff's Department. He's seen me traveling in my conveyance from point A to point B to sustain life because I can't be stranded out here in the middle of nowhere. Gravel pit in North Town. I had the door open, but I stepped back to... I'll show you. I'll lock the door on my POS car, even though the door is likely to fall off at any moment. Doc on my radio, and he just slammed it and locked it on me. Don't drive away. Is this a retaliation um, move? Yeah, it's a retaliation for you not being able to legally drive. You know, you commit a crime, the authorities retaliate by arresting your dumbass. Because, uh, uh, is this a retaliation move from something with your father? How do you know, how do you know the individual's driving status that you're, you're claiming? Because we, we all work together very closely. Who's we? Me and my coworkers. And what do, you, what do you mean you work together closely? Why don't you tell me what you're... I mean, we talk to each other about the dumbasses we encounter and whether or not they have a driver's license. What you're referring to? What does that mean? I, I don't have to. I just know who you are and How I know, know what your driving status is. Because I have a picture of you on my computer from the last time you were in Show jail. I, I don't have to. Who, who, who am I? You are Eric Shepard. Eric Shepard who? How do you spell that? What's your case caption that you're using? All right. It doesn't matter what the case caption is on how your name is spelled. Dumbass. What's the case caption that you're using, sir? What do you mean case caption? You don't know what I mean? No. You're looking for a corporation, not an individual, bud. Yeah, I'm looking for an individual identified by your name. Okay, I'm invoking all my rights. 
and they're, they're going to drag me out of my car. Are you going to break my window? You're not cooperating. We, we're going to have to get you out of your vehicle. I'm not doing anything wrong. Look, these are three cops that have already... These are three officers that have already... I had the door open at one point. Step me. out of the vehicle. What, what, for what? What am I doing Because wrong? you've been given a lawful order. Step out of the vehicle. If what you do not step wrong? out of the vehicle, okay, you, I'm, I'm, I'm you will comply. be physically removed from the I'm vehicle. I'm going to comply. Okay. I'm gonna, but only under duress. That's fine. You can do it under whatever conditions you want, but you are coming out of the vehicle. Okay, for what For what reason? Because you were told to get out of the vehicle. What, what's the lawful it's order? It's a lawful order to step out of the vehicle. What, what, why am I being arrested? Because you're told you for... inadmissible to public safety, so step out of the vehicle. Mean? We're not arguing step out of the vehicle or we're going to forcibly remove you from the vehicle. Do you understand? I don't understand. Okay, step out of the vehicle or I'm going to break your window and rip you out the door. Why? Because you are given a lawful order to step out of the vehicle. You are under arrest at this time. Do you understand under that? Under duress, I will step out. Okay. You step out under duress, but you leave there under arrest. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm hilarious. And with threat, by threat of coercion, and okay. my lawful... I need your, your name and badge number. My name is Kenneth Olson, badge number 7304. I'll give you a business card as soon this as we're done, one, okay? This is the officer that falsified the, um, the test that for, the, for the DWI he gave me. He falsified... Okay, now stop talking and get out of the car. I don't have to stop talking. I, you're, okay, you're, we'll get out of the car regardless. Right free speech. I will get out under duress. I understand, officer. I have the same conversation all the time with my kids. We're here. Stop talking. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car, or I'm breaking your window. Tell me your badge number and name. 7304, I already told you. Okay, I'm getting out. I'm stepping out. Get to the ground. Get to the ground. I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground. Ooh, that's cold. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. I'm not... Hey, ow, my wrist! I'm not resisting. I'm you laying down. I this have, entire time. I have not resisted one bit. You've re resisted this entire time. I have time. not resisted one bit. I'm not fighting Take you. I'm sure those cuffs are like breast cancer awareness or something because they're pink, but I understand how a cop would carry those year round because <laughs> there's nothing, nothing worse than a tough guy getting arrested in pretty pink handcuffs. You took my keys. He stole my keys just now. Nobody stole your keys. They're letting my papers. They're kicking my papers. Blown Nobody away. kicked your papers. Oh, no, he didn't blow. He didn't kick them. They're letting them blow away, though. They are blowing away. He didn't kick them. I, I, I apologize. He did not kick them. I am not resisting. Let's get up. I have not resisted one bit. Can we get my papers, please? Yes, we will. Once we have you in the back of my car. Can, can you get my phone, please? Yeah, be sure you get all his papers. He's worked really hard on that binder. Harder than he would have worked to try to get a driver's license or to keep it or to stay out of trouble. But he worked really hard on the binder. Will you get my phone, please? Yes, get I will. off the fucking radio today. I don't know. What what am I doing, you guys? You make me sound like you're like treating me like this. I'm not fighting with you. I'm not fighting you. I'm not going to fight you. We are 10-15. 20 feet. You have anything on you I need to know about? Anything that's sharp? Can a pokey stick me hurt me in any way? That was on my table. 113, Clearwater. Go ahead. We are 1015. Also, call me a toe. You're a toe! Well, thank you, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Once I can get out of the frickin' jail. <laughs> Hey, Gail. Was he on the phone or just recording? Um, I think he was on the phone. Yeah, SIS. I don't know who that is, but it is hung up on him. He's on the phone with my dad, and then... <laughs> okay, well, you guys got this under control. I'm going to go back to my VOR. Good. We'll do an inventory search and... 
Good job. Thanks for your test. <laughs> well, I actually went by it, and I'm like, wait a minute. Grab Did you say I got out? I was out on State Patrol's channel. No, I got out on State Patrol's channel. Oh, because I didn't hear me. You, I don't. When you radio, put this in my car. Uh, Seventy-one fifteen. Go ahead. You're not giving that to me, are you? No. Okay. Eric, your phone's gonna be up here, okay? You'll have it once you get um at the jail. Yes. I would like to use that phone. That's an extension of my person. That's uh, my no. And the hand is part of the ball. He just tried telling me that his phone is part of his extension of his person, and I told him no. You should ask him if the meth pipe is part of his extension of his person. There's his ID if you want it. I do not consent to you searching my private property, my home. When's the last time you used methamphetamine? That's my home. When's the last time you used methamphetamine? I invoke my rights. Okay. I asked him when the last time he used meth was, and he went, He said he invokes his rights, so... Well, he doesn't have any, he's Robert. Oh. You good? Yeah, I'm going to spin around. Okay. I'm going to go back to my field. Alright. Well, if you're good, I'll slide out. I didn't know what you had going on, so... Yeah, no, I... No, knowing him, that's why I was calling for her. I was like... Yeah. And then he started being how he was, and... Okay, okay see you guys later. You want to unlock the... Found a meth pipe in the doorway. That meth pipe is his own personal property. He has a right to it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but that is not hooked up. That looked like a list of spelling words, and he could probably use them, I'm sure. I guess he Velcros his ceiling on. on. Yeah. You got it? All right. Yeah, well, Eric thanks. told me that. Okay. <laughs> thanks. He's a, he's a peach. He's a lot nicer when I dealt with him. Yeah, no, he, I know. I don't know what you did to him. Nothing. Did you see him driving it? Did he like, like how did this all go down? I went, I went past him on the highway and then he pulled in here. Oh. And then once I 100% confirmed it was him, I mean, either way I was going to stop him for no, display no plates. Yeah. But once I 100% confirmed it was him, or some Narcan. So at least at one point he participated in the tyranny that is license plates. I have no clue. What is this? Laundry bag? That pipe is 100% legal. It says so right in the eighth and a half amendment. Yeah, that's what I found in the door pocket. Oh. So this was right here? Yeah, it was right in the door pocket. Right. So when I pulled up the, so I saw his ID down in there. As soon as I grabbed the, the thing to get it out of the way, there was a meth pipe. All right. What time was I? Did you arrest me? Yes. When? When I told you you were under arrest is when you were under arrest. And what did you do after that? Placed you in the back seat of my car. Then what? Dude, you were there. You saw it. You know what he did after that.
Dude, she keeps trying to ask questions. I'm not playing those games. Dude. Normally I take Jack the trunk, but I don't think he's been in there in a while. Unless yeah. there's a way to get it from the front. 113, Clearwater. You did contact the toll, correct? Well, there you have it. He was deprived of his right to life, liberty, and methamphetamine. That's it for today's dummy. Just tune in next time. We'll have another one. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.